Richard. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a hot minute. We're still doing crazy things. Life has been crazy. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna add some stuff to the Amazon registry and I'll see y'all when I get dressed. So I'm still at home and I haven't changed my clothes. I've been procrastinating, but I'm making breakfast. My best friend, she told me to listen to this talk. Um, the director of The Chosen came to BYU and gave a devotional and I was not able to listen to it. So I'm probably gonna listen to it while I eat breakfast and let the time pass by. So yeah, but outside is so pretty. Like this Utah weather makes me look. Let me show you guys, let me show you guys. Like, look at that. I mean, you can't really see the mountains, but like, fall slash winter in Utah is gorgeous. Okay, so I just got done watching the talk. I do have to leave in a couple minutes though because of my hall meeting. But like, I took some little notes. The talk was only like 20 something minutes. And I think like, I thought it was funny. He like talked about failure, which obviously like in like Christianity, we don't talk about a lot. We do talk about repentance, but not a lot about failure. But like, I'll just like say three things that I really liked about his talk. Um, I really liked, again, like how we talked about failure and how like we can learn a lot from our failures, which like, I feel like that's like sometimes in Christianity, we may take that as like a worldly thing or like a worldly problem. God puts us in a place where we, we may fall and we may stumble, but we're able to learn from that experience. And then, <clears throat> I also like how I he didn't say this but this is how I perceived it kind of like talking about how like we don't we shouldn't have to try and convince the world of like how good we are like the only person we really need to convince is God of like who we are like truly down in our hearts and I actually like that because like downstairs in my office we have like a quote I'll put up a picture of it, I can't remember. I also love how he talked about how like God asks us to participate in things even though he doesn't need us. The same way that God wants us to include him in our lives is the same way he wants to include us in his life. Like God did not need the disciples to preach his word or to gather people like he could have done that all by himself but he decided it kind of was like an example like from baptism like god did not need to be baptized but like he set that example that standard for us that how we need to make those covenants with christ and it's kind of the same thing like god included includes us in his life because he wants the same back from us it's not a one-sided thing like it's two-sided we can learn a lot from our failures we need to include god in our life the same way he includes us in our life and that um we we don't need to convince the world of like how good we are we only need to worry about like god that's the only person that we need to worry about is like god and jesus the only thing i didn't really like about it was the jokes like ha 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 like it's nothing i've never heard before but like other than that like he he made a, he had a really good talk so right now i'm like really contemplating between this dress and then like my cute little fall dress i think i might wear this one because it is a little bit cold outside i got this dress from down east and it has pockets and it's so cute so i think she is the one i'm gonna wear say hi to the vlog hi Hi! I literally was about to take a picture. Do you want to say hi to my YouTube channel? My YouTube channel.
vlog. What's up? Cynthia's making food. Cynthia, do you want to say hi to the vlog? Hi. She's being a cook. Ooh. Don't question me. The spoon is doing his job. You know, as long as it's being cut, <laughs> it's being cut. Yeah, Chingy's team is losing. taking down my hair and washing it and I'm currently about to um, blow dry it because it's winter time and I love my hair in its natural state but I know it's going to dry out so fast so I'm going to use this quench moisture intense even conditioner and then I use this blow dryer so nice so I'm going to use that blow dry out my hair <sighs> why is my okay yeah but Let's do a transition.